Hi, if you're new to this channel, my name is Tunda Wanamaker. And if you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, I want to discuss three things that you can do right now to get out of your own way. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome back, you guys. So in today's video, I am talking about getting out of your own way. I had a subscriber to ask me, how do you get rid of your own negative blocks? How do you get rid of your own indecisiveness and your inability to move forward? So instead of just writing a long email with the steps, I decided to come on and just do a short video for you guys. So everything that we do in life is a choice. Believe it or not, when we get to a place where we're stubborn or we're not moving and we feel anxiety or we feel like we have no control over it, it's because we've actually given our, given our choice away and we've let go of making decisions for ourselves and we've kind of put our life and our destiny in the hands of others. And when you're married or when you have a life partner or anything like that, nothing is wrong with that because the Bible says you should be equally yoked. So where you fall short, your partner should be able to catch you. So I'm not talking about in that situation. But for some of us, we are mentally in a state, in a mindset, a block and not knowing how to get out of hindrances. So today, I want to discuss with you how you can get out of that easily effortlessly and you can begin to flow and release every blessing that is connected to you. So when I say everything is a choice, uh, making a video is a choice. Deciding to get up and get a job and go to work, that's a choice. So the Bible says that a man that does not work <clears throat> does not eat. So one of the things that we make a decision to do, we make a decision to eat. So we make a decision to work. We make a decision to move. So when you're dealing with your own life and how you want things to be, you have to treat it also like that of you going to work for somebody else. Except now you are responsible for your life. You are the person who has the keys to your destiny. So number one would be do not blame others. Because by blaming others for situations, no matter how long it has been, you're still kind of, you know, giving your life into somebody's hands to say, if that would not have happened to me, then I would not be here or I would have been further along, alone. And that may be true. However, at this very moment in time, you are the driver. You have the keys to your life. So you have to take back that power and be responsible for what you want to occur and happen in your life. You have to be responsible for what you want to happen. You have to take ownership. So number two, you need to get a plan. Write it down. Write down exactly what you're doing. Be focused and strategic. Know what you're doing. Know what you want. Know what you want in return. Don't just put it out there and then leave it, but you also have to set an intention. You have to let your requests be known and then go after it. So that's all your mental focus and your energy. And number three, you have to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for not being further alone in your career, in your job, in your business, in your Facebook, in your YouTube, in your destiny than you want it to be. Forgive yourself. But what you can do now, the Bible says we perish, perish for a lack of knowledge. Learn these things. Catch up on these things. Motivate yourself. Forgive yourself. And then give yourself permission to move forward. So what you will do to activate yourself, you know, you have to forgive. You have to move. Breathe. Don't take life so seriously. Every lesson that you have got along the way has made you the person that you are right now. So consider that all joy. Use it as wisdom. Use it as fuel to ignite yourself and your spirit and just move from there. So get out of your own mental way. Give yourself permission to live. Give yourself permission to fly and you will see results. So every day when you get up, affirm yourself. Say your prayer, affirm yourself, 
Keep that energy around you. And before you know it, you will be in a different place. It may not be a lot happening at once, but a little bit of progress is better than no progress at all. So I hope this message finds you well. I hope that you take heed and you listen and you learn and you move. And I hope you comment below if this has helped you in any way. Again, my name is Tundi Wanamaker. Thank you for being right here, right now with me, creating an abundant life, a happy life, a peaceful life, a life full of love, joy, community, building each other, networking, and moving forward. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time. Thank you for stopping.